Dr. Lee says she'll uh, be in to give you all the details. I don't need the details. Just the bottom line. You need to get some rest. Jason, if you don't tell me, I'm going to think the worst. Am I going to be able to carry a child? Dr. Lee says it's uh, too soon to know. Did Kelly put a time frame on how soon I'll know? You know what? I didn't I didn't ask. I just wanted to know that you were okay. That's so strange. All that build up for let's wait and see. Well, she did say that it was a clean procedure with no complications. Okay. Well, so far so good then. That's pretty hopeful. I am tired. Yeah, it's the meds. They're doing what you want. Mm -hmm. They're forcing your body to rest. You need to let them work, okay? Okay. Promise you won't stay here all night. Let's close your eyes. Sleep. I don't. You know. I don't want to wake her up. Okay. The procedure. How did it go? Did it work? Um, she got through the surgery with no complications, and now we just uh, have to see if it if it takes. Well, that's great. Isn't it great? Yeah, that's good. It's just, you know, the whole thing's new. It's just new for me. Well, of course it is. Yes, it's new. Because for the longest time, you know, having a child wasn't even a possibility for you and Sam, but now it is. It is, and I know it's tough. I know you're torn because of everything that happened with Jake. You know? If I, um... If I say you're right, Carly, can we not, not talk about this right now? I... Well, I have to tell you stuff. Didn't think so. No, come on, you have to listen to me. You have to listen to me. You and Sam will be wonderful parents. Jason, don't deprive yourself from the joy of being a parent because Carly, you're afraid I know of... that you mean well, but I don't want to talk about this right now. Today is, uh, it's Jake's birthday. Is there anything I can do? Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a crisis for me to handle, would you? Well, since you asked, <laughs> Jax is still insisting that Jocelyn's home is with him at the Metro Court and that he should have full custody. I just went to confront him about it. And? I let it go. I walked in and he was having a conference with Brenda about finding her son, Lucian, and she let me know in her obnoxious way that since my daughter is safe, her son takes priority, so, you know, I can't really argue with that, so I left. What's, what's the catch? I don't know what to do. Jax won't budge. The thought of a custody battle makes me sick to my stomach, but I'm not about to hand my daughter over. And you shouldn't. You were right to back off today. Look, you can accommodate Jax as much as you can, but never give her up. Not for any reason, not to anyone. Hey, Jason, you got a minute? Yeah, yeah, have a seat. You down and I'm sure you probably know this. Today's Jake's birthday. And it just made me painfully aware that every minute I had with them came at a great expense to you. And I'll regret to my dying day that my father was responsible for ending his life. I'll never blame you for what Luke did. Yeah, I'm discovering the hardest thing about death. That life goes on. This, I mean, maybe it's just a way for me to think it through for myself. 
But the only way for Siobhan to stay in the country was for me to marry her. But I had to be on Jake's birthday. Well, you didn't pick the date. If you did, so so. Wait, what? you don't you don't think it's disrespectful? If we if we want to honor Jake, we got to find a way to keep going. You know, just do the best we can and just try to be good to each other. That sounds good. I can't get there yet. Doctor Merritt, call five nine zero two. I can't either. Call five nine zero two.